Welcome Hornets and thank you for being with me today. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at our classwork. This is the first terms classwork number one. So please be aware of that. So I straighten out my camera there. There we go. Um, so I have that on the screen here. This is Riemann sums number two. And your classwork is for you to do the odd problems, numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. I'm going to be going through with you and going over numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 in an effort to try to help you to understand what we're doing. So our goal in our classwork is to do a left Riemann sum. And if you recall, a Riemann sum is a length times a width. So we want to make sure that we have a sum of rectangles areas each having a length and each having a width. So when we look at this chart in number two, I want to first start by finding the widths of each of these rectangles. And to do that, I'm finding the gap between zero and one, the gap between one and two, the gap between two and six, and the gap between six and eight. Now, in order to do a left Riemann sum, you'll notice that this bar right here has a right side to it and a left side. For each of these two bars, we are going to do the left side for that gap. So our first gap was 1, and our left value is 7. This gives us 1 times 7. We're then going to do 1 times 9. And then 4 times 7 and then two times eight. So this is the left Riemann sum, which I'm gonna write as an LRS. And I'm gonna add seven plus nine, plus the 28, plus the 16. And I believe I have a calculator here that I can utilize, or at least I did a moment ago. And there it is. Hang on as I go out of the picture. I am still here. And welcome back, Mr. Lamb. All right, so here we go. We're going to add these up. You can see that I'm doing it directly in front of you. 7 plus, 9 plus, and then we have 28 plus our 16. Our answer is 60. And we now move to number 4. Notice that's a left Riemann sum. It's not that difficult. It's not that overwhelming. It's just recognizing that we're multiplying a length times a width and adding it to the area of the next rectangle. We do it all the way across, we add it up, we have our approximation. So let's go to number four. The gap here is 11 between zero and 11. Between 11 and 13 is two, 13 and 15 is two, 15 and 16 is one, and the 17 is one. So I have 11 times three, the gap times the height. The gap of two, times the height of five, the gap of two times the height of three. Then we have the gap of one times the height of five plus the gap of one times the height of four. And notice I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five rectangles. I'm now going to add them up. Here we go. So same thing that we did before. We're going to take 11 times 3. We're then going to add the 2 times 5, then 2 times 3, then 1 times 5, and then 1 times 4. Adding them up, we get 58. And we now move to number 6. Following in the same pattern, we have a gap of 4, gap of 3, gap of 4, gap of 2, and a gap of 3. There we go. So we're using our left value. That's going to give me 4 times negative 5 plus 3 times negative 6 plus 4 times negative 4 plus 2 times negative 2 plus 3 times negative 1. We're now going to add them all up and write our answer down. 4 times negative 5 plus, 3 times negative 6 plus, 4 times negative 4 plus, 
2 times negative 2 plus 3 times negative 1, enter. And we get negative 61. Now remember, the integration is merely a change in value. And a value can change either positively or negatively. So it is entirely reasonable for us to get a Riemann sum that is a negative value. Here we go. Number eight. Number eight, gap of five, gap of one, gap of one, gap of one. Seven times five plus one times five plus one times seven plus one times six. Notice we have the number of products as we have gaps along our line. Adding them up, we're now taking the 35, and we're adding 5, then 7, and then 6. And our answer is 53. All righty. Now, um, continuing with this, let's just keep going. We have a gap of 1 gap of 1, gap of 3, gap of 5, gap of 2. 1 times 14, 1 times 13, 3 times 11, 5 times 10, and 2 times 8. Adding them up, we have 14 plus, 13 plus, 33 plus, 50, plus 16, and our answer is 126. Last one, gap of one, gap of three, gap of one, gap of six, gap of two. One times two, three times three, 1 times 4, 6 times 3, 2 times 2. Adding them all together, 2 plus, 9 plus, 4 plus, 18 plus, 4, enter. And I get 37. That is an example of the problems that are being asked for you to do on your classwork. I hope this has helped. Please remember, this is the left Riemann sum that you are asked to do. Doing the right Riemann sum simply means you use the right value instead of the left value, and you follow the same process. I hope this has helped. Please remember, if you have uh, questions, you should come in and ask them. Uh, please remember to also click like if you found this helpful. I hope so. Please be well and take care. And remember, it's easy to be mean. So please try to be nice to each other. It's always better. And remember, if we want to change the world, change starts from within, from us, and how we project outward. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.